I'm Steve Bevins. Uh, I'm a member of the community of Divine Word Theologate. I've been a member here for about four or five years. Uh, I was uh, living in the neighborhood for several years before that. Uh, and uh, for a long time, some 30 years perhaps, I've been a professor at Catholic Theological Union just down the road uh, here in Hyde Park. Uh, I've um, uh, retired about uh, two or three years ago and uh, nevertheless I'm very very active. Uh, one of the surprises in my life and I've always loved teaching but one of the surprises in my life is that uh, I've discovered I love to write and I can write <laughs> and so very early on in my career uh, I published a a little book that uh, came out of just my experience as a missionary in the Philippines. Uh, it's a book called Models of Contextual Theology. It was published in 1990 and uh, it's still in print. It uh, went through a revision in 2002. People <clears throat> still find it uh, quite an important book and an interesting book, and I'm always surprised at that. Just this little book uh, talking about different ways of doing theology and culture and our experience and how that has uh, uh, just been an important book in so many people's lives. Uh, several years after that, uh, my good friend and colleague and now uh, living also in this community, Roger Schrader and I, we published a, a book called Constance in Context, A Theology of Mission for Today. And we followed up uh, several years after that with a book called um, Prophetic Dialogue, uh, Reflections on Christian Mission Today. And again, uh, it has been uh, kind of an amazing book. It's a history and a theology of mission. And then the second book kind of follows up on that and deepens the idea of prophetic dialogue, which had become so important in the society of the divine word and our own style of doing mission. So we were just amazed too how uh, that book has taken off and in some ways bec even become a classic uh, in the area of mission theology. Some years after that, I wrote a book kind of out of my experience of teaching and with uh, the ideas of contextual theology and mission, a book called Introduction to Theology in Global Perspective. Uh, and again, this has been a very interesting book. It's my favorite book that, uh, that I've written because it really comes from my heart. Uh, just recently, I've uh, published some essays uh, of mine on contextual theology. Here's a copy of the, of the book. Uh, just came out in the, uh, the summer of 2018 published by the Dutch company Brill. And uh, there are a number of, I think about 13 essays in here, followed by a short autobiography of my writing and my uh, intellectual journey. Uh, and then just very recently, about two weeks ago, uh, uh, my colleague at CTU, Robin Ryan and I, have published this book, we've edited this book, Priesthood, in religious life, searching for new ways forward. Um, it came out of a conference that I uh, put together about two years ago at CTU, and it's a study of uh, the importance of priesthood in the context of our community life, our religious life, our missionary life. Sometimes we get confused between diocesan priesthood and religious priesthood, and we're trying to uh, clarify that in, in, this, uh, in this particular book. It's a bit embarrassing for me, but uh, about two years ago, the eminent Vietnamese American theologian Peter Phan approached me and asked if he could edit a book in my honor, uh, what um, in the academic world is called a feshrift or a, a celebratory book. It usually happens toward the end of a person's career and uh, you know I'm uh, kind of toward the end of my career so this sums up some of the things that I've done in my life. 
He edited the book with uh, another eminent theologian, uh, Professor Dale Irvin, who's the president of New York Theological Seminary. And they've gotten together a number of scholars from around the world. And these scholars have reflected on my work in contextual theology, in Christian mission, and also in this idea of uh, prophetic dialogue. I have not seen the book yet. I know that it's out. I heard that uh, recently at the American Academy of Religion, it was there and all the copies were sold out by the end of the conference. So I'm really excited to see it. In any case, it's a great honor. Uh, to have something done like that and really very humbling. Uh, but it puts in a certain sense uh, uh, a crown on my work of 40 years of teaching and of uh, ministry and of scholarship and writing.